Welcome to the Bank First Ranger Hour. Super Talk Mississippi 93.7 Spotlight on Northwest Community College. And you can listen to our live stream at supertalknorthms.com. Just click on the link for the Bank First Ranger Hour. Now, here's your host, Gary Darby. That's me. And the studio at 9.07, a chance to talk with you today. We didn't get that opportunity yesterday, and uh, the good people, our, our great behind-the-scenes team, gets us back up on the air and ready to roll, and hope you've been enjoying what's been going on on the Super Talk world. And now it's time to get with you and talk a little Northwest Community College. And today, we shall speak with the Director of Financial Aid, Dr. Lakeisha Hibbler has been with us before, and we'll talk with Lakeisha again. And then when we're done, Jenny Hurt's been on this program multiple times. We bring Jenny back on for a myriad of subjects to follow through with on this first Bank First show of March. With that, let's do a few things, then we'll get into all of the discussions we need to do with our two guests. All right, before we get into our guests, one more item of business to talk about. And the Heindel Center for the Performing Arts there on the Northwest Campus has Jay Leno coming to town. In fact, tomorrow for Jay Leno, you still can get a ticket and and get in and see him. And also the newest member of the Grand Old Opry, Henry Cho. It's a one-night performance tomorrow, 730. You can get tickets or learn more about the entire Heindel Center's inaugural season by going to HeindelCenter.org, H-I-E-N-D-L Center.org. You can get those tickets, too. They're on campus, 315 North Fleet Drive in Senatobia. Their office hours are from 1 until 430. Or call them, 562-3478. Ask your questions, see what's available. Go online, check it all out. Jay Leno and Henry Choi at the Heindel Center for the Performing Arts in Center Toby on the Northwest Campus tomorrow night, 7.30. Should be fun. Hey, we're underway. 12 after 9. Bank First presenting us with a Thursday show all about Northwest Community College. We'll do some work next. Stay with me, please. This hour is everything Northwest. Your connection to Northwest Mississippi Community College and powered by Bank First. Thanks for joining us on the Bank First Ranger Hour. Join the conversation now by texting 662-426-1093. We have two great ladies to be on the program today coming up in the second half of the Bank First Ranger Hour, we speak with Jenny Hurt, Assistant Director of Recruiting on the Northwest Campus. But now we bring back in the Director of Financial Aid, our friend, Dr. Lakeisha Hibbler is on the line. How you doing? Good. How are you doing this morning? Things are fine. We were talking about it. Busy time uh, in and around for, for I think, everybody. But uh, I appreciate some time. Get you, get you away from the pencil and the phone for just a little bit uh, here for about 10 minutes and, and chat with you along the way. So end of the semester, it's moving, it's going. I'm sure your office is constantly busy because you get these phone calls, you have everything going on with the students. What is it like right now uh, in your office? How busy are you guys working on what's going on now but getting ready for the fall? Oh, yes, we are very busy. We're getting ready um, to start awarding for next year for our 23-24 school year. Um, but right now we're just finishing up for the 22-23, getting ready to do our first refund for the spring semester. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's exciting, um, making sure that the students' funds go out on time so they can have those. Um, and just getting everything processed and working out any kinks that we have with our new system and just making sure all of our students are being taken care of. If you don't mind, because, you know, a lot of times when I get some of these students that are on campus and we talk about why they chose Northwest, well, it turns out very affordable, number one, but with all of the scholarship money or other financial aid they can get, I've had multiple of them tell me, I'm actually making money by going to Northwest Community College. So can you kind of tell us a few of the kinds of financial aid and exactly what all we might be discussing here? Yes, definitely. Um, so there's federal aid, there's Pell Grant, 
Um, there's SEOG grant. There's also federal work study where the students can work on campus and receive a paycheck um, every month. There's institutional scholarships that's based on their ACT scores. There's state grants um, like the HELP grant. Um, they have MTAG, MESG. Um, there's athletic scholarships. There's foundation scholarships. There's tons of scholarships for students to apply for. So actually, when coming to school, they can receive a check yeah, um, right. once everything is paid. And also, the Pell Grant is increasing next year. So it's going to increase by another $500. Wow. Students will be receiving $7,395 um, for Pell Grant. So that's a little more extra money. They'll pay for their tuition and books. But there's, there's a lot of money out there for students. They just have to go on there, on the website, our financial aid website, and just apply. Remind us again about FAFSA, F-A-F-S-A, exactly what is that? And I know in our conversation prior to getting on the air, uh, you got an important date coming up. Can you remind us a bit of that? Yes, so FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. All students wanting to receive any type of federal aid that's any type of grants or any type of loans, they have to complete their FAFSA. Um, and we're actually going to have a FAFSA workshop coming up March 30th. It'll be in Tate Hall, room 205. And it'll be from 1.30 to 3.30. And we're also having pizza. Um, so they can come, come <laughs> eat their fast food, and have pizza with us. Look, come on. Get a, get a <laughs> chance at a meal and, and and then possibly, you know, get that financial aid and get everything situated for school. Uh, you, you can't beat that. And I know we've said this before, but it doesn't matter what economic background you come from. You need to fill out this form, correct? Correct, it does, because also all of our institutional scholarships require that FAFSA to be done. So if you get an athletic scholarship, if you get a cheer scholarship or dance or leisure or even foundation scholarships, you have to fill out that FAFSA. No matter how much your parents make, no matter how much you make, you still have to fill that out. Because you never know, you could be eligible for something that you don't think you're eligible for. We're talking with Dr. Lakeisha Hibbler. She's the Director of Financial Aid on the Northwest Campus, main campus. And um, it, it's true also you can call any of the locations and somebody will be able to help you uh, get some information somehow about what we're discussing, correct? Correct. We have financial aid staff at the, the Soto Campus as well as the Oxford Campus. Is it, uh, is it time to be doing things? I know you said you were preparing for the fall and then preparing for next year. Um, what are the deadlines? What are we looking at as far as filing all of this and getting ready for the fall or getting ready for what would be the next school year? So for as far as the FAFSA, you can go ahead and complete that now. Um, and our FAFSA priority deadline for the fall of next year is July 1st. So if you have your FAFSA done by July 1st of this year, you're guaranteed to have your financial aid on your account and ready for you to use when you start classes in August. Um, if you're going to be starting with us in the spring, it's November 1st. And then if you're going to come in this, this summer coming up, it's April 1st. So if you get all those FAFSA done in time, your aid is guaranteed to be on your account. Can you give us, like, I, I don't know, I guess each person is different, but but how long it takes to fill out the FAFSA form? Is this a long process or something that we can get through? Um, it's not very long. It, it does give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete it. Okay. I would say maybe for someone completing it for the very first time, it might take them about 15, maybe 15 and 20 minutes, just because you have to read it and go to the line on your taxes and then put that information into the FAFSA. So maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. But if you've done it before, like this is your second time around, it probably takes like five minutes. <laughs> sure. And so let me ask you this, because in today's world, we have to think and wonder about these things safety of the information that you guys get. Can you discuss that a little bit and how important, obviously, it is to you guys and the people filling out the forms? Yes. Yeah, so when students fill out their FAFSA, they have to create a federal student aid ID and a password. Those passwords and those IDs are for them only. They're kept in the system through the Department of Ed, so no one has those IDs. So if they even call us, we can't give them that ID number or that password. We have to have, help them go to the system the FAFSA website and retrieve that information because no one has record of that except the Department of Ed. So we always tell our students to keep it in a safe spot. Therefore, when they get ready to fill out their FAFSA for the next year, they'll always have that. And that FSA ID and password sticks with them forever. Okay. I cannot say forever because once they finish college, they go out into the world, 
years later, they get married, have kids, that same FSAIDN password will be used again when they're helping their their kids fill out their fast for school. Oh, well, that that become that that makes a lot of sense and 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 obviously helpful uh, when that time comes along the way. I appreciate you doing this. I know you've got to go and do some things. If you don't mind, best way to get information and to find out about anything involving financial aid in Northwest Community College. So the best way to find out any information is always online at our website. Um, our website under the financial aid tab has all the tuition and fees, how you can apply for financial aid. Um, it has our important dates, forms you can fill out, scholarship information, and it even has a financial aid checklist where you can go through and mark off everything that you have completed. So you'll be ready to start class in August. Lakeisha, thanks for your time this morning. I always appreciate you being on the program. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. There she is, Dr. Lakeisha Hibbler. She's the Director of Financial Aid at Northwest Community College. And you can go to northwestms.edu, as she mentioned. Go to the website and find out a little bit about everything. If you need help applying for financial aid, you got the questions, you can go to that website first, and then they're ready to assist you. Because... There is a, a, a place to, you know, type questions on there. But the office hours uh, for prospective students, moms, dads, uh, that's Friday from 8 until 4.30. Or their phone number is uh, or, uh, different, obviously, for, for the, the different campuses, whether it is Cenotopia, the DeSoto Center, or the uh, Center in Oxford. And you can... Call either of those and go find those phone numbers at northwestms.edu. You can also find my financial aid checklist where you can get all the steps of the things you need to do to be prepared for that application process. No matter what, you have to fill out that FAFSA form, F-A-F-S-A, to see what you may qualify for, for any of the different types of financial aid across the way. And with Northwest, as she said, and really with with all the schools, the Pell Grant money, as she said, is going up another $500 for the students. Very affordable to get to Northwest Community College anyway. Opportunity for you to get a really good education at a quality place for a quality price, and we encourage you to do so. NorthwestMS.edu. Check it out. Go to the financial aid page. You can find out about everything Dr. Hibbler and I were just talking about. And with that, there is a thing on the website that says 91% of the students receive some type of financial aid. 91%. So please, fill it out. You're going to Northwest. See what you get. And then have a good time there at NWCC. Going to kind of continue the conversation a little bit in that realm with Jenny Hurt next. I got a lot of other questions and different things we'll get into with her as well. Thursday, March 2nd edition of the Bank First Ranger Hour. Thanks for listening to the Bank First Ranger Hour, your connection to Northwest Mississippi Community College on Super Talk Mississippi 93.7 and streaming live at supertalknorthms.com. Just click on the link for the Bank First Ranger Hour. 9.30, and we're midway into the program today. We thank Dr. Hibbler for being on with us, talking with us about financial aid, all the things that we need to do, how we need to do them, when we need to do them. And we're going to continue a little bit with that and other things as well. Now the Assistant Director of Recruiting, our friend Jenny Hertz on the show. Hello, Jenny. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Nice to get you back on here and get a chance to really talk about a couple of different things. And and I want to get you with the it's W H E M N conference, which means Women in Higher Education Mississippi Network. That went on last was it last week, right, in Oxford. Um, yeah. tell us a bit about that, what it means and, and and how much fun you get because I've seen posts from from a lot of the, the friends uh, of mine now that uh, that have been on this program and the good time and the fellowship that you had. But what was that conference like? Yeah, it was so much fun. WIM stands for Women in Higher Education Mississippi Network. And so this was the uh, 20th anniversary of that conference. And so women from all over the state, you know, community colleges, universities, we got to come together and network. We talked about, you know, best practices. We, you know, talked about, you know, how there's changing culture in higher ed and, um, you know, climbing the ladder as women in higher education. Um, And so it was just a, a great time to get to get together and, you know, talk to people from all over the state about what are y'all doing? How do y'all handle this situation? Um, and just really kind of encourage each other as women. Um, so it, it was just a great, a great conference. 
And now you get to try and implement some of those things that you guys talked about throughout uh, your work that you're doing at Northwest, I assume. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Jenny Hertz with us, Assistant Director of Recruiting. And so we were talking uh, financial aid, right, and, and doing that in the last segment. Let's discuss scholarships in the fall and how a person needs to maybe go about that, whether it's through the foundation or what those scholarships might be. Can you jump into that and, and kind of lead us through some, some discussion? Absolutely. Yeah, there, is so, there are so many scholarship opportunities at Northwest. I love when I'm in the schools talking to students um, about money, which is normally like not the fun part that they want to talk about. <laughs> they want to know about housing and are there parties and, you know, all the fun things that come along with college. But there really are so many opportunities. And like Dr. Hibbler said, you know, a lot of our students get paid to come to Northwest yeah. because of these scholarship opportunities. So we have um, leadership and, scho- and presidential scholarships that are based on your ACT. Um, if you have a 19 or below, we'll still give you $550 to come to Northwest. Um, you know, you can get a half tuition scholarship, full tuition, which is 1600 or tuition room and board is 3325 So, you know, you can get some money based on your ACT. We also have um, GED and high set scholarships. So if you didn't graduate um, with a normal, you know, certificate from a high school, if you took that GED or high set, we have scholarship opportunities for you. Um, we have adult scholarships for people that are, you know, if you're 25 or older and are wanting to come back. Um, we had a student who came in, our potential student come in yesterday to tour, um, who is wanting to go back and do the nursing program. And so he qualifies for uh, this adult scholarship. We have a senior citizen scholarship. So, um, you know, of course, on top of athletics, there's band, choir. I mean, there's so many opportunities for students to come back and get, you know, they could come to Northwest for free, but you've got to apply. And like Dr. Hibbler said, you have to fill out that FAFSA to qualify for any of our scholarships. You know, I know that that families also do endowments and and, and establish scholarships, and I know this because there is one that is uh, that that has just been established for a cousin of mine, Richard Darby. His father, Price, was a dean and a longtime administrator throughout the college, and Richard has been involved and in and around as well. There are a lot of things people don't know about, right, that can help people get education. Some of them might be for a student in Panola County, some in Tate County, things of that nature, but families returning to Northwest and doing things so huge. Right, absolutely. Yeah, we have over 600 foundation scholarships. Um, and so those individuals, businesses, companies that, you know, have established a scholarship, they can choose the criteria. So if they want a first-generation college student or a student whose parents have, are deceased, you know, they can put all these different qualifications on there. But, um, again, there's 600 different scholarships wow. that students could receive, you know, they could benefit from. So they just have to apply. Another great thing about Northwest scholarships is it's all one application. So you don't have to apply, apply for all 600 different <laughs> ones. We just have one application the most that you have to and the rest is all multiple choice so it's a really easy quick for five minutes oh sounds like not difficult you don't have to write an essay you don't have to do an interview it's a I think we've lost her. Let me try and dial. Uh, let me let me dial her back uh, here in just a little bit. But we've lost uh, Jenny. I'm going to take a break. We'll come back and see if we can't get her to finish things up here this morning on the program. It's nine thirty-five. We'll be back. Hang on. Hang on. We're talking Rangers this hour. Thanks for joining us for the Bank First Ranger Hour. It's a special conversation about Northwest Community College. There's a campus near you, and you can join the conversation by texting to 662-426-1093. All right, we have Jenny back on the phone with us. Mother Nature messing with a little bit of everything. Yet again, it's a Thursday, March 2nd edition of the program. Jenny, you back with me? I'm back, I'm back. All right, good. We lost you in the time we were talking about you know, go ahead and applying, and, and there's all the different ones, yes, but you're not applying for all 600 at once. There are other ways, uh, you know, that, that that will be figured out a, a, along the way. But what are our deadlines and the times that we need to get these things done for financial uh, possible applications and, and the foundation? Yeah, so we've got an April 1st deadline for scholarships. So you just go to the Northwest MS.edu website. Up at the top, you'll click financial aid and then scroll down to scholarships, and there's a link for that scholarship application. So you just fill that thing out, and then we have a committee that will meet and assign scholarships, and we will um, hopefully be emailing you soon, letting you know that you were awarded one. 
And before I let you go, we've got the big soiree coming up. Give us some details. Yes, yeah, we've got the soiree coming up. It's going to be a great fundraiser for the college. Um, we're hoping to start some new programs and things that this is going to help fund. Um, it is on March the 25th. You can buy tickets at HeindelCenter.org, which is H-E-I-N-D-L, center.org and um, we have um we're going to have a wine pool we're having uh, an auction marty stewart and his superlatives are going to be there uh, to entertain us and it's just going to be a great night so if you're uh, not doing anything on march 25th come on out to Cenotopia and help us celebrate these students yeah i always enjoy talking about you know events like that and, and talking about helping to get that money to help students and what that does and to get someone you know, their education at Northwest Community College, how big that is, will honor some people on that night as well. Jenny, thank you. Thanks for coming back, finishing it up with me, giving us uh, another little bit of discussion there along the way. I really appreciate you. Off to your day and, and, and a busy one, I'm sure it is. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, Jenny Hurts with us, and we appreciate her time on the program. It's 940 as we do this show. And we are uh, glad to get an opportunity to do another Bank First Ranger Hour with you. So we've talked financial aid today a lot about how to apply, what to do, how to do it, all of those kinds of things, and where you can find out all of the information that you might need along the way. Northwestms.edu. Go find it. You can go find the financial aid office. You can go find the foundation. You can go find uh, all the programs, admissions, Whatever you need, they'll be there for you and can help you out along the way. All right, good stuff. I'm going to talk to any Northwest sports at this point. Let's do that now. You can go to nwccrangers.com, nwccrangers.com to find out more. You know, we've had Coach Will Irvin on the program, the tennis coach. Uh, They're off to a pretty good start. Got a split against Cole Lynn. You can go check that out. They've been nationally ranked on the men's side of things. This tennis program off and going. You've got baseball that's been playing. Softball's underway. Uh, Softball currently ranked number four in the country. Coach Bramlett and group off to a great start. Now, they all have some games scheduled on the respective Diamonds uh, tomorrow and, and the weekend. And, of course, We'll have to get that weather to cooperate to get them out there and to do that. When we're looking in that fourth-ranked softball world, uh, the schedule for them, off to the 10-0 and start, and number four in the country. The schedule says now, the schedule says, let's make sure we get this uh, exactly right for you. Uh, they're going to be in Hot Springs, Arkansas, is the schedule, okay, against Navarro College and Allen County tomorrow and then off until the 11th when the actual conference play starts in Mississippi against Southwest coming up on the 11th, so a little time before that happens. But softball does have a couple of games scheduled tomorrow in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and of course they're going to see this weather before we do in Hot Springs. As far as baseball is concerned, uh, they had a, a double dip that they played and split with beating Itawamba and losing to Northeast. 10-5 and five for Coach Carson and company. And the schedule for them has a Saturday 1 and 4 o'clock doubleheader against South Arkansas in Senatobia. They're Jim Miles Field. So that should be able to, to, to go about. Nice draining system, new stuff working there at the old ballpark. And Saturday looks like a great weather day. So if you're looking for some baseball action in North Mississippi, the Northwest Rangers taking on South Arkansas in a double dip, 1 and 4 o'clock. In fact, the next three times that Northwest is scheduled to play baseball, all in Senatobia, they have the Saturday double dip against South Arkansas. East Mississippi is coming in, as is Colin, on Tuesday of next week. And Northwest will play both, and then obviously uh, East and Colin are going to play as well in the middle. So Tuesday morning at 11 on the Northwest campus, it's Northwest and East Mississippi, and then East will play Colin, and then Northwest and Colin will play at 6. That's what the schedule looks like along the way. So we'll have a couple of baseball games to, to report on when we do this show next week, and we look forward to what the conversation may be between 9 and 10 However, today's program is now done. 
Bank First and Northwest Community College. 954, music's rolling. Gerard is next. I'm going to move out of the studio for a moment. Thanks for being with us today. So long.